Hello guys, we're here at Chris Sports Commoning Showroom. We're here with a RUN Smart Treadmill Sensor. We'll be testing it out on one of their Element Commercial Treadmills. But first, let's unbox it and see what's inside. Okay, first let's figure out where we want to put our uh, sensor. So then we need to put our first sticker. So in order for you to make it easier for you, um, North Pole Engineering, Ron, have put a series of dots on top of the sensor so you know exactly where it is. So we'll start with the first one right here. And then we'll put the next one, let's say about a foot, a little more than a foot apart. Next one, right about, okay, let's see. make sure that's straight, right about there. We've calibrated it. Uh, there's a lot of information on the internet on how to calibrate this. You can go to Zwift.com, it'll teach you how to do that. So now we'll see if we can pair it to Zwift and what kind of data it can give us. This will also pair to any of your wearable devices, Garmin, that sort of thing. If you're not into Swift, it will give you uh, inclination data. You can record all of that thing through Strava. And then you can see the device is doing that. So we'll, we'll run a little bit here so we can see how it will record the Strava. And then I've had some questions also about incline. So we'll try to see if we can get some incline, incline records of this thing as well. So, I'll see you after my workout. So, final thoughts on the run sensor. I think it works very well. It was very easy to install. Uh, gets me up and running on Zwift. What I like about it is that I don't have to worry about calibrating different shoes or different foot pods. If my whole family says is into running, everyone has a different Zwift account. They don't have to worry about many different foot pods. I'd like you to think of this sensor as an additional input device. So it's like a heart rate monitor, right? So it allows you to give additional information to your wearable. So the nice thing about this, even if you're running indoors on your treadmill, you can record it onto your Strava or Garmin Connect. I think that some things that you should be aware of when you're buying the device or installing the device. Number one, be sure that the stickers are evenly spaced so that the device can record your speed accurately and evenly. Um, I also think that you don't need to put all of the stickers, about three to four stickers should be enough. If you use the code JEREMY10, you get 10% off on your order of the North Pole Engineering Run Sensor.